Executive Fusco reporting. When it comes to adopting animals, local shelters have had to make some changes because of the coronavirus. Tonight, your science, Asia Tolliver, shows us what to do if you're planning to add a four legged family member. Now, although the Portsmouth Humane Society doors are still open, you can only come by appointment, and that's just one of the many changes that they've made to keep everyone safe during this time. The executive director at the Portsmouth Humane Society, Allison Facchino, says the appointments ensure a limited number of guests coming in and out of the building. We really felt that while it was important to honor public safety and limit the number of people in the building at a given time, we didn't want to jeopardize our adoptions and end up with more animals than we could feasibly take care for. She says so far needing appointments hasn't caused a drop in adoptions, but that could change. Pacano says right now they don't have plans to close their doors completely to the public, but they are constantly evaluating the situation. Workers are also following all the CDC guidelines. Plus, they no longer accept any used animal donations. We have been sanitizing any commonly touched surfaces, counters, doorknobs, even the handles on the animal runs are being sanitized on a more frequent basis than they would normally. She says community members have also been calling to see how they can help these furry friends in any way they can, which reminds her that while people are apart, everyone is also in this together. We are asking our foster homes to take home some of our placeable animals in order to make space for new intakes and also to reduce the load on staff. Now, if you are looking to adopt or foster during this time, just make sure you check with your local shelter to make sure that their doors are still open as some have been closed completely off to the public at this time. In Portsmouth, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.